Hello everyone and welcome back to our random pets genetics challenge here in The Sims 4 with our laboratory and its many, many experiments. And you are currently staring at our latest experiment, Zane experiment, uh, canine experiment number 87, who we uh, currently mixed with what I can only assume is a cosmic space mouse because we have some really cool looking eyes, some adorable whiskers, and he is quite petite and tiny in size compared to his father, Rupert. I am very sad actually to see an end of the griffin line on our dog so that is a little bit of a tragedy but I'll be honest seeing Zane is actually really cute and I like the little twist that he has and I look forward to seeing what kind of new canine experiments we might have today and yes I do mean new canine experiments. I am sorry my blind temple cats the dice rolled and the dice said today we are going to be working on dogs again. When we hit dog number 90 we may actually stop and do a whole bunch of cats because we're like 30 cats behind <laughs> so we may really have to catch up on the cats but that's okay we're having a lot of fun with the different kind of puppers that we can have and we are enjoying our time with our new lab assistant power pixie who's bringing a little bit of the dark side of the force into um what we're doing here and so far her results have been kind of interesting we did have zoe who is just kind of this random mixed breed dog that i have totally fallen in love with look at her cute little muzzle and her nose her patterns her two colored eyes everything about her is just so adorable and charming. She randomly rolled up last time and I did not want to see her disappear. So we saved her. You guys can actually snag her off of the gallery if you look for my name, Blissy underscore leaves. And you should hopefully find her up, but they all these guys do have custom content. So you might have to check the, you definitely would have to check the allow custom content in order to find her, but she is so precious. I love her so much. Uh, and I actually wanted to see what some of Zoe's pups would look like before we moved on so that means I need to make a little bit of room here oh Maisha I'm gonna miss you I'm gonna miss the walrus cats I know that people were kind of ready to see the walrus cats go but it meant a lot to have you for so long but I shouldn't panic you're just going out to go play in the kitty yard and we do have all of these save files backed up uh, every single one that we make we back up which fun fact I'm actually going to start using the lab assistants in our sims for oasis challenge so if you leave your name not only will you you have a chance like leave your name down in the descriptions or like Woo! I love space cats or whatever you want to do down in the description in the comments you know what I mean and you end up becoming a lab assistant what I'm gonna start doing is I'm going to collect the lab assistants from all of our past episodes maybe kind of coordinate their <laughs> outfits a little bit and then they're going to start helping out in our Sims 4 Oasis challenge by becoming Eve Eureka's co-workers, helping her to build up some really fancy laboratories. So that's going to be really cool, really fun. I can't wait to see kind of where we send that little lineage off to. Uh, and it'll be a great way to see what the lab assistants are up to uh, other than just being here in like this particular cast lab. So that'd be kind of cool. All right, but anyway, Power Pixie, you are now an adult. You have gained a little wisdom from all of the work you have done for us. And I would like to see what a new canine would look like today. So Maisha, you're gonna go off into the kitty play yard. I am gonna miss you so much. Rupert, Rupert, hang on. I'm gonna cuddle you for just a minute longer. Um, We're gonna go ahead and see what Rupert and Zoe's puppies, by chance. Oh, Rupert, your puppies. Oh. Oh my gosh! Look at how proud he is! No, look at him! Oh, oh you too! You would have the best puppies! Oh, oh, oh. They would grow up to be a like, well, honestly, I, look at this little tank! I can't just turn my back on him. Okay, I'm gonna save him too. I can't resist this. He's just a uh, tank? He's a little tank. He is just a little tank. Look at him. He, I want him to be very loyal. Oh. Um, I also think he's a little vocal, and I like to think that he is mm, not aggressive. Uh, well, maybe aggressive. Maybe. Whoa! Did you see those teeth? That was like that really terrifying show. What was it? Growing up as kids, Furbies? No, it wasn't Furbies. Like Gremlins or whatever it was. Don't feed them after midnight. And then the kids did. That's what those teeth reminded me of. Uh, but I like Tank. I never thought I would end up with a dog that looks like him. So he, this is going to be 68.5. Saving that to my library. 
right this second. There we go. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and let him go play in the yard. But now we have him forever and evermore. <gasps> Rupert, stop! <laughs> Rupert! Rupert! Oh no, I'm sorry guys. Normally we don't start with a whole bunch of extra, uh, extra animals, but I can't help it. And Dream Crystal, thank you so much for leaving such an awesome comment in one of our previous episodes. So I'm actually gonna name this this dog crystal after you and i'm so glad you loved the cat in outer space uh the cat from outer space too i'm shocked so many of you guys knew about that movie and it really made me feel super happy because it was a very distant almost completely gone childhood memory that i've completely revived thanks to talking about it with you guys so i really appreciate that uh let's see but there we go we have crystal and i'm gonna have her be Friendly, uh, maybe not adventurous. Adventurous is actually exhausting in dogs. Let's make her playful and let's make her a little bit of a troublemaker, but I wonder if that's just because she's kind of like a glutton in a way. No, I forgot that, I hate that action. But I have to save Crystal too because she's just too beautiful. So basically guys, if you wanna have uh, 68.6, if you wanna have amazing, gorgeous puppies that just make you go bananas, you definitely need to get your hands on Rupert. He, in fact, we might actually tweak his colors a little and I might actually get him in one of my legacy stories. <gasps> what if he was a really cool Griffin guardian dog for my, my fangs and flowers vampire series and we could do that for Halloween. That would be amazing. And then we could just try like raising a few of his puppies. That would be so cool. All right, anyway, let's play with genetics one last time. And we're going to mix with Zoe, who I think is pretty cool. Okay, and Zoe, look at those eyes. Guys, Zoe is going to give you some beautiful, beautiful pups. I love the eyes on this little one. A little bit awkward in the body, but there's just something about this one that I, I can't resist either. So we did a lot. We did a lot of extra. We did a lot of extra animals this time. Uh, and we're actually going to go and name this one Princess. So we're going after uh, Christina, who talked about her cat named Princess Midnight, which is a lovely name for a cat. This is not a cat, this is a dog, but I think she's very Whoa. smart. I think she's very loyal. And I think that she's gonna be, um, maybe a little jumpy. Just a little bit like, whoa, what's happening? So there we go. All right, and that'll be enough, that'll be enough because I, I clearly have a little bit of a bias. <laughs> a little teeny bit of a bias to Rupert. We'll save more breeding of Rupert for the future um, because he's just so cool. And I, I really may put him in my vampire series and bring that back for the month of, of October, the month of Halloween. Zoe, you're gonna go ahead and play out in the yard too. Now we have room and we are gonna make Zane. Don't worry, my little cosmic mouse dog. I haven't forgotten about you. It's time to make him a mate. Let's get on this. We're gonna actually take this seriously now. No puns intended. Uh, we are going to pick the main breed. So we're gonna roll five times on the first breed and then we will make a mixed breed from that. One, two, three. Whoa, hey, I wasn't done here. Eh. Three, four, five. We're gonna make a mixed breed Havanese dog. <laughs> So we're staying in the small dog territory. It seems that is just where our current lab assistant, Bower Pixie, is taking us. So we are now going to randomize seven times from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh my gosh, what? <laughs> Is this a, like a hound dog? Is this like one of the the hound dogs and no like or the um the coon hound? Is that what this is? Mixed with mixed with uh, adorable Havanese. The results are kind of precious. <gasps> you guys, I would love so much to introduce you guys to dun 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 L. 
Kelly. And thank you, Lindsay Houseworth, for your wonderful comment. I love all the names that you picked, and you definitely were picked. Uh, well, and you do. You know what? Let's 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 go with Lindsay. We're gonna go with Lindsay because you say that just naming somebody Lindsay after you is good too. So we're gonna go with Lindsay. I would like to introduce you guys to Lindsay. She is Canine Experiment 088. That is so fun. She is going to be. Let's see. Mm -hmm. She's loyal. One, two, three, four, five. She's a troublemaker. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, uh there we go. No, 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 please. <laughs> please, I chose. Uh, that is like my least favorite thing to see. So that's why I tried to count like what the other trait will be. But a loyal troublemaker hunter sounds like a dog to keep us on our toes. So let's see what she's going to look like. We're going to roll five times. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, she's got so skinny. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I love the ears. I love the face. This is a really cute dog. We've actually never had one that looks like this before. We're going to roll nine times on the ears. I'm kind of sad to see them go, so I hope they flop back down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, okay, we got chihuahua ears. Okay, all right. We're rolling with the random jeans. We've got this. Once on the nose, and then we're going to roll twice. One, uh, eh, eh. let's do one two on the eyes. <laughs> what? Lindsay, you just changed your personality immensely with all of that, and I can't help but giggle about it. All right, we're going to roll twice on the tail. So we have a twirly diddly do tail. So we've got two twirly diddly do tail dogs. Now we're going to change the coat pattern. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, we almost got fox pattern. That would have been so cool. All right, one, two, three, four. Okay, gray dogs. We're starting to really risk the curse of the gray dogs again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, blue nose. I hope she's not chilled. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. A blue dog! Okay, this is actually turning out really fun. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is so cute! You're like a little ice dog, Lindsay. I love it. Let's see what kind of fur you're gonna have. Are you gonna put on some fur so that you can become an ice dog? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh wait, eight! There we go, eight! All right, so she's added some fur. This is actually a really unique looking dog. I really like this. And now we are going to roll 10 times. What if we have little fangs and we can become like a little ice saber dog? That would be so cute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> We had the fangs and we lost them. Oh no. But we also lost a right eye. So somehow in all of that chaos, we lost poor Lindsay's right eye. And we are also missing uh, the right foot. So we have lost the, the right <laughs> leg again. So that makes another dog who is missing their right leg. And we have lost the right eye. So Lindsay, you tried so hard. You are our little ice puppy. And unfortunately, you did come out the other side of the random genetics a little rough for the rough, rough, rough. Hey, hey. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help it. A little bit rougher for the experience, like experience, but I think that it'll, it'll still be interesting. So Zane, Lindsay, let us combine these two small puppers and see what kind of babies they would have. We get to randomize three times. So here, oh, look at little, look at little Zane 2.0. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. So this would be their first child, their very first son who they would have together to make tiny little ice dogs. Uh, this would be dog number two and dog number three. <laughs> okay, so we ended up with the ice dog patterning and I would like to introduce all of you to Turnip. And that is actually from Turnip Crazy. Thank you so much for your comments uh, in the previous videos. I am also glad that you too have seen The Cat in Space. Uh, that was, again, one of my favorite movies and it's just really funny that I really almost forgot completely about it. And then you guys came out of nowhere and helped me remember it. 
So now we need to see if Turnip, I love that name by the way, uh, is going to inherit the whiskers or not. What say ye, Dice? No. So we did not inherit the whiskers, unfortunately. We are leaving behind whiskers and we are leaving behind the pumpkins. But we are entering a new era of small space ice dogs. And I kind of like it. So there we go. Let's give Turnip his personality really quickly. He is going to be a glutton who is stubborn. We're really off to a flying start and aggressive. Wow. Power Pixie. Do I need to worry about what kind of dogs you're helping us make? Cause I'm a little concerned now. But all right guys, we have the wee puppers and I'm really excited to see where are descendants of the blind temple cats and our little space ice dogs will take us next time. So I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.